you actually got your first screen kiss from Bing, yeah? Yes. Um, my first big picture for Sam Golden was The Princess and the Pirate, opposite Bob Hope. Uh, during the whole picture, Bob Hope thinks that I'm his sweetie. Actually, I'm a princess that's run away from her king father. But nevertheless, he thinks I'm his girl. But at the end of the picture, when we discover that uh, the king is to rescue me, and I'm there, and I'm wanting to see my, my real sweetie, and Bob Hope says, come to me, darling, and I go <laughs> past Bob into the arms of Bing Crosby. <laughs> and he kisses me, and that was my first kiss. How was it? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Okay. Well, Explain I don't know. That, really it's really kind of like it. Oh. <laughs> I, am, I had nothing to judge by, you know, uh -huh. so it was real weird. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, now, I said when we went to commercial, I said that you were going to give us all this dish on Clark Gable, and you said, I didn't even know Clark Gable. I just saw him swimming one time. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> so who's got the scoop on Clark Gable? Is it you, Jane? Oh, I made a picture with him. Yeah, what was he like? He was a doll. He was a very um, normal, outdoorsy guy that played a lot of practical jokes on people. Oh, he was a practical joker, eh? Uh-huh. When I first met him, it was before I was married. And I was dating John Payne. And uh, after I was married, when I was working with him, if my husband was anywhere around, he would start talking about John Payne and to me. Because he knew Very that nice. was going to just blow the lid off everything. Uh-huh. So he was a troublemaker. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the director, Ral Walsh, got even with him. He brought a de-skunked skunk into the bedroom with him. Into Clark Gable's bedroom. They were bunking together. Yeah. Did and that Gable scare him? Did he jump up and run? Well, he just flattened up against the wall and screamed, <laughs> Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> Do you all have favorite leading men? Yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. Who? Ronald Reagan. He really? Was, he was wonderful. I did two pictures with him. How so? What did you love about him? What was favorite? He was charming. He always knew his lines. He was such a gentleman. And he is to this day. Perfect gentleman. Now, was he a good kisser? Wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, we're unequivocal about that. We were, oh, I never said that in front of Nancy, because I know she wouldn't like it. <laughs> but he was a good kisser. Alan Ladd was a good kisser. And also, Gregory Peck was the best. Now, Alan, but now Alan Ladd was really short, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, what do you do when you have to do a love scene with somebody who's well, shorter than you? It was OK, because I was just his height when I wore flats. It was no problem. But. Uh, but normally when somebody is shorter than you, don't they like bring in yeah, a box they and put, they put him in a hole? But th <laughs> they didn't have to do that with me. Because you were yeah. short enough. I was just, favorite I was leading man? Who has, who's got a favorite leading man? My favorite leading man was uh, Robert Young. I loved working with Robert Young and I worked in three pictures and he used to call me his little lamb chop. But one I always wanted to work with and never got to work with was Burt Lancaster. He was I my worked heart with Burt Lancaster. You're so lucky. Twice. <laughs> and let me tell you, you kissing Burt was awful. Oh. 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 Well, Jim, no. <laughs> and here I was so thrilled because the only time I got to see Burt Lancaster, my mother, that was how I had braces on my teeth. That's why they're straight today because Burt Lancaster had the same dentist, and that's how my mother got me so to go you to got the them dentist. All straight so you could see him in the dentist. I know he went to the dentist because he had these huge teeth, <laughs> and I thought he was going to break mine when he kissed me. <laughs> oh, so he was a rough kisser. He, got all he those was teeth, a tough huh? kisser. A lot of teeth. <laughs> now you have a great story, at Margaret, about working with Lionel Barrymore. Oh yes, Lionel Barrymore was wonderful. He, but he was like a grandfather to me, and he was quite elderly when I worked with him on the set, and so uh, I wanted to play this piano that was a prop piano on the set. So I'd sit down and plunk this piano, and one day he had it taped up. And that was the end of my <laughs> concert career. But he felt so badly that he used to make me rag dolls all the time, made beautiful rag dolls. But I have to tell you, my least favorite leading man was Wallace Beery, because he hated kids. 
And he used to, they had to put blocks between us because otherwise he'd pinch me. And he used to really? steal my hot lunch on the set because they had hot lunches for people who work longer hours. And he'd give me the cold one and my mother would go and steal it back. Your and was that was pistol, Wallace Berry. <laughs> Favorite leading men? Girls, come on now, fess up. Jane, favorite leading man? You can't. Gable, Robert Mitchum, Richard Egan. You can know who you can. You can't Bob pick. Hope. I don't know. I well, those men are wonderful. They're I never all worked fabulous. with them. However, they're all just yeah. great. She was lucky to have. So those no particular men. favorite. Dorothy Malone, favorite? Oh, I love Fred McMurray and uh, Jack Benny and Kirk Douglas and Rock Hudson and uh, I just wonder what happened and really miss. Uh, Dean Martin. You wonder what happened to him? Yes. Well, Dean, He's if you're watching, we would love to see you here at the Vicky Show. Uh, I don't know. He hasn't been around in a while. He's probably out on a golf course somewhere, huh? I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Now, what about those pesky uh, Bing and Bob guys, Dorothy? I mean, they were your most frequent leading men, yeah? Yes, but I've done 60 motion pictures. Were they so your I favorites, had, or I do have, you have a more favorite leading man? Well, I don't know. I, I love Tyrone Power. He was funny as Hope and Crosby put together. Really? A lot of really? times. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. He was a doll. Alan Ladd, Robert Preston, John Wayne, uh, Ray Milland. I don't know. They were all my ladies. Yeah, some lady up here wants Ray Milland. I, I only met John Wayne once, and I was coming out of Musso and Franks on Hollywood Boulevard, and I ran into this chest, and I looked straight up, <laughs> and it was John Wayne, and you know what he said to me? Excuse me, little lady. <laughs> we're going to take a break. Coming up a little later in the show, find out which one of my glamorous guests used to scalp her dolls. But coming up next, how a last-minute change brought Dorothy Malone her Oscar-winning role. We'll be back. Hi, everybody. Call and let me know what you think about my show. Don't spare my feelings. I'm a big girl. I can take it. And if you say something nice, maybe you'll even be a guest on the show. Just call 1-900-28-VICKY. That's 1-900-288-4254. Call costs 75 cents, and you must be at least 18 to call. Season after season, year after year, Nothing sounds so good in the morning as breakfast with Log Cabin Syrup. Log Cabin, rich maple flavor and mornings to remember. I can handle this Fisher-Price radio control racer, even though I'm only three. But someday, I'll be bigger. Then I'll crank this baby into high gear and let her rip. The two-speed radio control racer from Fisher-Price. The gloves are coming off. Women are fighting greasy pots and pans with Ivory Clear. Compared to those other tough grease cutters, Ivory is easier on hands, yet tough on grease. Ivory's targeted grease cleaners attack the grease on your dishes, but not the natural oils in your skin. Fight grease with your bare hands with Ivory Clear. Some women have a new secret. Shh. The new Playtex Secrets Panty Slimmer. Of course it's pretty, but the real secret? Shh. A hidden panel that targets your tummy to control you where you need it most. The secret's out. New Playtex Secrets Panty Slimmer and matching bras. Shh. It really works. The biggest medical news of the 90s may be a special group of vitamins called antioxidants. Because healthy bodies need antioxidants, like beta-carotene, to help strengthen the body's natural defenses against cell damage. Centrum contains the complete antioxidant group, plus more vitamins and minerals than any leading brand. So eat right, and to supplement your diet, take Centrum, more complete from A to Zinc, and with the complete antioxidant group, more important than ever. Eureka Power Line. New 8.5 amps of power. Onboard attachments at a great price. New Power Line from Eureka. For hair color that thinks it's a conditioner, ask your professional stylist for Shades EQ Color Gloss from Redken, the power behind beautiful hair. I look good in the makeup. 
cold, honey. Mm-hmm. You look good in a shower curtain. <laughs> Hollywood's most talented leading ladies, Dorothy Lamore, Dorothy Malone, Virginia Mayo, Jane Russell, and Margaret O'Brien. Jane, what was Marilyn Monroe like to work with? That, I think, has got to be one of my all-time favorite pictures. Gentlemen prefer blondes. Well, Marilyn, uh, Marilyn and I are both Gemini, so we got along very well. She's quick, study, and but she had her uh, coach on the set a lot. And An acting coach? her acting coach look at the and two the of minute you. the scene was over she would turn around and look at the coach not at howard hawks the director and you don't do that to howard hawks so uh he put the coach off the set and she had a little cry and and then uh we went on yeah she, were you guys buddies at all or was she not a buddy kind of a person no we were we were uh friends i was quite a bit older than marilyn yeah. And uh, she wanted to know what it was like being married to a sportsman because uh, I was married to Bob Waterfield, the football player, and she was going with Joe DiMaggio. And I said, it's great if you want to have the guys around a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Dorothy, tell us about getting the role uh, that won you your Oscar. I mean, it's kind of interesting how it happened, yeah? Well, yes, it is, because prior to that, I'd been doing a lot of westerns. Uh, a lot of westerns, which I truly loved. As a matter of fact, I forgot to mention Jeff Chandler as a wonderful leading oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't he yeah. wonderful? I miss yeah. him. Yeah. But anyway, and, you know, the dust... Was he a that... good kisser? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm just checking, since That's we're getting all the good dirt here. <laughs> I, I really felt like a woman of the prairie with the dust in my hand, and I loved every minute of it. I feel like, well, I am a true American, but I mean, it really sank in when I was going across those prairies, really in the covered wagon, really. Oh, really? <laughs> but anyway, uh, Written on the Wind uh, was a, a very pleasant switch off for me because the only uh, break in that career of Westerns was a picture called Battle Cry, and that was a very dramatic role. So uh, I went with Universal. I had been with Warners, and they were doing Written on the Wind. And so they called me in and uh, all of a sudden, I had this part with this wonderful director, great producer and everything, and two wonderful leading men. And I said, how did this happen to little old me, you know? And it turned out Lauren Bacall, who did the really big lead in the picture, had turned down that role. So it was very fortunate for me. Wow, because, she picked uh, the wrong role, huh? Well, yeah, well, she was very good in her role, too, but I guess, uh, you know, maybe she didn't... Well, it wasn't comedy to begin with. I played yeah. it sort of for fun. I did a lot of roles like that, just craving it, you know. But uh, it turned out to be a very good role, and they made up a dance, or I made up a dance. They let me dance, which I had longed to do all my life, which I did in personal. Did you life. ever think you'd win an Oscar for that? Or is oh, that like no. the last thing on your mind oh, when you my do goodness, something? the last thing. In yeah. fact, I went to see the picture in a preview where they showed the, you know, the public. They had those sneak previews. And I came out weeping. I thought I had never seen such overdone ugliness and ah, oh, just awful. Go figure that academy. Who had questions down here? Yeah, yeah stand up. I wanted to ask Virginia um, what it was like working with Danny Kaye. Oh, Danny, what was Danny? Danny, oh yeah, I did four pictures with Danny and uh, he was fun to work with at times and he was a sourpuss at other times. He was unpredictable. He was schizophrenic. One, one was day he? he'd be happy and the next day he'd be sad, so you could never predict his mood. Speaking uh, of moody, now you work with Jack Palance, yeah? Yeah, I do. Now what is he like? Oh, <laughs> the weirdest man you ever want to work with. <laughs> yeah? I'll give Jack you an example. Oh. We're doing this scene, um, and he has, uh, he's supposed to pet a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Well, before the scene, he runs around, around the set and gets himself all hyped up for this. The mood of the scene was just calm. I don't know why he had to run around the set. <laughs> and he had to come in and, and, <laughs> and then he'd start petting the rabbit. Well, he pet the rabbit so fiercely that the rabbit did its business all over. <laughs> I mean, he was just crazy. Scared the crap out of people. <laughs> we got the picture here. We're going to take a little break.
break, but don't go away because we're going to take a trip down memory lane courtesy of Jane Russell and Playtex when we come back. At issue, bone marrow transplants. It's leukemia. It's an issue of life or death. The Ayala family went to extremes to save their daughter. Was it necessary? This is a highly controversial area. It's an issue of debate. To us, it was the right thing to do. With new technology, what are the options? Find out what's being done today to save lives tomorrow. Surviving the odds. We're making an issue of it. Tonight at 11 on the News Tonight. We've got a saying at Thomas's English Muffins. There's a baker behind every nook and cranny. Well, that's me. And I've been proud for a lot of years now to make sure people are getting English muffins that toast up golden brown and that are baked like Mr. Thomas baked them over a hundred years ago in England. Now that's a muffin. Thomas's English muffins. There's a baker behind every nook and cranny. From the time I can remember, I've always wanted to be a hairstyle, so I called and I enrolled in Gordon Phillips. The staff was very professional, and they made my enrollment very easy. The education that I received at Gordon Phillips gave me the opportunity that I needed to become a successful salon owner. And you want to know what the best part about going to Gordon Phillips was? I met my husband and business partner, Greg. Let Gordon Phillips bring success into your life. Call 1-800-845-7700. That's 1-800-845-7700. Nothing makes families feel more at home than Hatfield hot dogs. Other hot dogs just can't copy Hatfield's great taste. It's the hot dog you've loved ever since you were a kid. And the best part is, you never ever outgrow the taste of a Hatfield hot dog, no matter how old you are. Families trust Hatfield. When you win the Pennsylvania Lottery's Cash Five, you'll get all the cash all at once in one lump sum. And won't that feel good? Cash Five. All the cash all at once. Now, the Pennsylvania Lottery has two drawings every week for the Cash Five lump sum jackpot. So every week, I want to go this way. two people can hit Cash Five. All the cash all at once. Here's an exciting personality, Academy Award-winning star Dorothy Malone. And here's one of the most interesting things about being a movie star, fan mail. You'd be surprised how many girls write to me for beauty advice. And when they ask about their hair, I tell them, anyone can have beautiful hair with luster cream <laughs> shampoo. Because luster cream leaves hair shinier and easier to manage. <laughs> with five of the silver screen's most celebrated stars, Dorothy L'Amour, Oscar-winning actress Dorothy Malone, Virginia Mayo, Jane Russell, and Oscar-winning actress Margaret O'Brien. A blast from the past, the luster cream commercial. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, you don't well, remember? I, no. I've been, I've been begging to do a commercial for years, and certainly I would not have offered for a hair commercial. Did you see my hair? That well, day? I thought it looked lovely. Like your, your hair looked lovely. Huh? Now, you're going to upset those luster cream people. See, now, speaking of a blast from the past, Jane, you were the Playtex uh, spokesperson for how many years? Fifteen. Fifteen years. Now, and how, does it, did it ever upset you to be labeled Miss Full Figure? No, because I am that way. <laughs> what are you going to do, you know? Uh, when I started doing that, as a matter of fact, it was the style to go around with no bra. It and was? Yes, and I thought, <laughs> I'm going to do a bra commercial right now. Yeah? <laughs> was there some trick to that 18-hour bra? It's just good and comfortable. Was it? Let's, yep. we, we actually have that commercial. Should we look at it? Yeah. Oh, oh, go it's ahead. Such You're going to do it Yeah, let's look. <laughs> let's stroll down memory lane. Let's look Jane at Russell, it. Jane Russell, starlet. Full-figured then and full-figured now. And today, we gals know how to keep our full figures looking pretty. Under the smoothest fashions, try the Playtex 18-hour seamless bra. 
not a seam showing to spoil the smooth look. And the unique fabric that stretches for real support, real comfort in the 18-hour bra makes 18-hour girdles control comfortably. Try Playtex 18-hour bras and girdles. Full figures never look better. Now, we never did actually see that bra on you, though. Well, we never did. Well, no, no. Just, just, Maybe just you're seeing it now. No, I never did. <laughs> well, no, no I, you yeah. take a look at what the Playtex ad looks like nowadays, how times have changed. Well, here. that's when I quit. <laughs> Today, women need all the comfort and support they can get. Is it any wonder so many women choose Playtex as the bras they love to live in? Really? <laughs> did you quit? Did you quit? Yeah. Yeah? Now, what was the deal on the seamless bra? Wasn't there like a rumor that Howard Hughes made you a steel bra or some damn... What is that stupid story? I mean, who would want it, a steel bra? No, 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 no. This story gets more twisted every day. Okay, so explain it to me, because my mind trying, is totally twisted. He was trying to come up with a seamless bra. Right. Because I had a jersey blouse on, and it showed all the seams. So he was trying to do that, and I put it on, and it was very uncomfortable, and so I knew what he was trying to do. Now, it was really steel? No, it was a oh. cloth bra, but it was, you know, down in the back, and the straps were too little, and it just wasn't... It was just uncomfortable. Mr. Playtex, he was not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I threw the bra like under the cot in the dressing room, and the wardrobe girl went, oh, what are you doing? And I said, shut up, he'll never know the difference. And I took some Kleenex and put it over the top of my own bra. And he never knew the difference. So he you thought made I was wearing his bra. He was very bra? happy. What was, what was he like? He was a perfectionist. He was very shy. He was uh, also had a, you know, pretty stubborn, but very, very nice. He ended up being very polite and very nice and insisting that he wanted his way and you could stand and scream and holler and carry on and he'd let you. Did you guys and keep in touch over the years? Hmm? Did you guys keep in touch over the years? Uh, there was a phone number that you could always call. He had a 24-hour, he had his own 24-hour Howard service. 1-900 Howard. Did you stand up now? What did you have to say to somebody here? Uh, Jane Russell, you. 37 years ago, I escorted you in Korea, just north of Seoul. You were there entertaining the troops. I was the first lieutenant there, and we enjoyed your entertainment very much. Wow. Appreciate it. With Johnny Grant. We'll be back in a minute with more of my glamorous guests. Sock hops, hula hoops, the Mickey Mouse Club, and poodle skirts. Well, you're old. Flashback to the 50s with Sean and Ah, Soupy Sales, Lassie, and the Mouseketeers on the next Mickey. Hey, have you heard about new raspberry ice? It's the newest flavor from Crystal Light. Go ahead, taste it. That's new raspberry ice, Crystal Light. The newest way to turn water into wow. Try Airwick Airwaves, the air freshening system you control. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it up. Turn it up. Way up. Way up. Turn it down. Turn it down. Way down. Way down. Completely adjustable Airwick Airwaves, the advanced air freshening system. Kibbles and bits. Kibbles and bits. Oh, why did they change my kibbles and bits? The kibbles were perfect. The bits were the best. Oh, why did they mess with my kibbles and bits? Hey, don't get your doggy dimples in a bunch. It's even better, because we added the taste of chicken. Chicken? To the already beefy taste of kibbles and bits. Beefy? You know, a dog can't get a better tasting dry dog food. Well, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna get me more kibbles and bits. <laughs> what if they didn't make enough? Julie Inkster, women's golf champion. I couldn't afford to lose a golf tournament to diarrhea. I needed relief. Introducing new Kale Pectate 2. Something I can count on to let me play all day without worrying. You'll often get one dose relief with new Kale Pectate 2 caplets. Well, I did play all day, and the only thing I worried about were the sand traps. Trust new Kale Pectate 2 for relief in one dose. 
That movie made me hungry. Everything makes you hungry. Hey, my mom's making chicken and stovetop stuffing. Stovetop? I can almost taste celery and onions, herbs and spices. My mom's making chicken and stuffing, too? Is it stovetop? No, she's making another kind. Another kind? There is no other kind. My house, guys. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. There's no substitute for stovetop stuffing. And to make as little or as much as you want, try stovetop in the canister. For me, looking good is a job requirement. I can't have flakes. That's why I use Head & Shoulders Dry Scalp Shampoo. It helps protect your scalp's natural moisture and helps prevent flakes before they start. Because beautiful hair can't have flakes. Do you ever look at the other side of your pictures? It should say Kodak on the back. Now, you got no Kodak paper back here. No color watch seal here. No seal? Who knows? I asked for jumbo prints, but this is ridiculous. Hello. I was just trying to make you feel Dorothy L'Amour, Dorothy Malone, Virginia Mayo, Jane Russell, and Margaret O'Brien. Who has questions? Yeah, stand up. I'd like to ask Dorothy Malone, when you were growing up, who was your favorite actress? Well, uh, Ingrid Bergman and Loretta Young. Um, and, of course, Betty Davis. Boy, all, all tough shoes to follow in, yeah? Did Thank you have a question? You. Stand up. Jane Russell. Just take that, Mike. <laughs> help, help yourself right there. Uh, I got to tell you, my favorite football player in 1951 was Bob Waterfield. Yay. <laughs> Question. Question. What was your most embarrassing moment on, on set? Oh, you got a most embarrassing moment on screen? Hmm. Hmm, she's going to have to think about that one. Who else has a question while you're thinking? Okay. Is, where, is there one coming to you? Huh? You got one? <laughs> no. Nope, she's thinking. Yeah. I, don't know. I wanted to ask to all think. the ladies, of uh, all their leading men, which ones were the best kissers? Oh, be okay, best kisser, down the line. Best kisser, Dorothy. What? Best <laughs> kisser. Who is the best is kisser? The best kisser. Best kisser. My husband. <laughs> Best kiss, kisser, Dorothy M. Well, they weren't really kisses on the screen. They really weren't. We're not getting oh, honest answers are, here. Are. Okay, best kisser off the screen then. <laughs> <laughs> well, they weren't in pictures. Oh, okay. Oh, now Virginia's going to tell us. Yeah, Gre give us the dirt. Gregory Peck. <laughs> okay, Gregory Peck. Best kisser, do you have it, Jane? You're not going to believe this. It was Bob Hope. Oh. Really? Yes. Hey, he's pretty good. No, I, 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 well, a funny person can be a good kisser. You don't think Bob Hope is a good kisser? Me? No, Dorothy. I said he's pretty good. <laughs> Compared to your husband, though, not so good. Who else? <laughs> yeah, stand up. Have to? Yes, you have to stand up. Okay. Um, the question that I'd like to ask, um, uh, number one, I think watching the, the older movies are, are just the best that there ever were. Um, are... <laughs> Are any of you ladies still working actresses? And do you have anything that we can look forward to seeing you in? Yes, what, Virginia? Well, I did a movie two years ago. I haven't seen it here, but I hear it's played in London. Uh, it was about a woman who uh, let people come into her home and took their money and then proceeded to kill them. <laughs> uh, I played one of her guests in her house. Oh, I it was a horror film, you mean? <laughs> Did you no. do a horror movie? It was a horror movie. Karen Black played the woman. I can't even imagine you in a horror movie. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, no, anybody else got anything? Yeah, what, Dorothy? Uh, I did a part in Basic Instinct, which oh. was just last year. Oh, that's right, yes. Did you see that movie? Anything I did. did. You see that? Yes, I did. Shame on you. Okay, we're going to take a break. Don't go away. We'll be back with more, though.
are you anyway and what do you know? About the people came before you and the life that they chose. Who are you anyway and what do you think? When you look in the mirror and you want to be free. Who are you anyway and when will you learn? That the dreams your people dream are something you earn. Who are you anyway and where do you fit in? The story of America is still being written. Find out who you are and where you fit into the story of America. There's got to be an easier way to lose weight. There is. Quick Weight Loss Centers now featuring the Inner Diet for everyone having difficulty losing weight and keeping it off. The Inner Diet helps eliminate the causes of your weight problem. Quick Weight Loss Centers cost less. Not like those others that can cost you a small fortune in prepackaged foods. And there's no group meetings. Grand opening. Turnersville, New Jersey. Lose weight $9 a week. Call Quick Weight Loss Centers 1-800-526-SLIM. Many cities in America have thousands of doctors. Let's say there are 10,000 where you live. How can you find the one doctor who's right for you? Let's say in this case you're looking for an OBGYN. I can put a code in for that. That brings the figure down to 231. I can search for a doctor who does prenatal care and delivery. That brings the number down to 193. Say someone who works with high-risk patients. We're down to 177. The next thing I do is put in your zip code to find doctors who are close to you. In this case, 31 doctors in your part of town. Of these 31 doctors, 17 work with your insurance. I can look for someone who has weekend or extended office hours, and that brings us down to eight doctors. Let's say you also want a doctor who has an obstetric ultrasound actually in the office, and that would bring us to three doctors. And that's just getting us started. We have about a 20-page biography on each one of them. And the best thing is the service is free, the call is free. What better way could there be to find a doctor? Call 1-800-DOCTORS. It's clear it's the crusher. There's too much food in these Encore Salisbury steaks. Tell them, crusher. How can I eat all these juicy, charbroiled steaks in rich, beefy gravy? But, crusher, Encore is a two-pound family size entree. I don't have a family. I do. <laughs> and we love Encore. We'll be over at six tonight. Really? You will? Al, about this Encore veal parmigiana. Five tomorrow? Oh. oh. For tasting more, it's Encore. Jonelle presents salon-style sculptured nails. Easy to apply, just stick it, buff it, gel it, set it. You'll love it. Gel nails from Jonelle. Singer's Juice Giant Juice Extractor separates juice and pulp from fruits and vegetables. Includes tempting recipes. Easy to use and clean from Singer. Okay, stand up. Lady's been waiting to ask question now you're all very lovely have any of you worked together yes yeah. Virginia and yeah. I worked together I did a show with Margaret O'Brien for six months over That's six right. months barefoot in the barefoot park, in the park. We and threw it all over with Virginia it. was a wonderful person to work with she's a very kind person she's a, a wonderful person to play opposite I didn't know no Nanette with Virginia huh? isn't she wonderful for, to work with I didn't with? know Nanette with you yeah, for we like did a week for a little until bit. I got <laughs> didn't know Nanette I worked with Dorothy Malone in two pictures so we yeah. were at Warner Brothers together that was yeah. part of the wonderful studio system yeah. we were yeah. friends you the see. other thing that we would be remiss if we didn't mention is Peyton Place because we're all sitting out here saying gosh yeah. we were such big fans oh, yeah. of, yeah. of, yeah. of Dorothy on Peyton Place you were wonderful in that show do you we prefer did a, or we did Remington what? Steel together, Dorothy Malone, Lamour and I? Remington Steel, that's Remington right. Remington Steel, yeah? That's right. mm -hmm. Do you prefer television to movies or don't you care? No, it's not like work. as quick as they work. I like television these yeah. days because it's quicker. I yeah, like I television. I but I feel left out because even though I was young, I did get to kiss someone. Who? <laughs> Who was your favorite kisser? <laughs> Jeff Hunter. <laughs> Listen, I wish we had more time to visit with you guys. It's been really, really interesting. Before we go, though, I want to take a, a minute to thank a couple of our stations that bring us to you. WABM in Birmingham, Alabama, and KVAL -KVA in Eugene, Oregon. You guys have a wonderful day. We love you. Bye-bye, and thanks, you guys. Accommodations furnished by the Sheraton Universal Hotel, official hotel of Universal Studios Hollywood. It's the hotel of the stars, and so close to the action, you'll feel like a star yourself. PLS Limousine, serving Los Angeles and New York for over 14 years, can provide